I think uh, one of the key uh, trends is that since the GFC, we have been in an era of below trend growth. For example, in the US, we still have not seen uh, GDP growth hit the 4% level, which is very rare for all post-World War II recoveries. At this time, though, we're in an environment of global synchronized growth. And one of the aspects that I think investors are going to have to come to realization is that as we begin to renormalize from a growth perspective, what are some of the differences that that leads to in terms of how they're investing in the markets? Right. So what are the key differentiations uh, in this post-QE era in terms of the growth that you just mentioned? In what way should we adjust in our mindset in terms of doing investment? I think one of the most obvious ones is the difference in interest rate policy. So we have been in a secular bull market for bonds for 30 years with interest rates going in one direction and that's down. And at this point, we are now starting to see the renormalization of interest rates, which has an impact on a number of different sectors. Uh, for example, some of the bond surrogate sectors, such as telecoms or utilities or even consumer staples, uh, those may be sectors that are a little bit more challenged. On the other hand, sectors such as the financials area actually are going to benefit from a renormalization of interest rates. So I think that's one of the, the main items that investors have to consider is how to invest in an era where interest rates are no longer falling every single day. The second piece to this is as global growth is recovering, there is a chance that the economies actually overheat to a degree. And does that actually spark a little bit of inflationary pressure, which again, we haven't seen at all. Um, and the challenge with inflation is that certainly some sectors benefit better than others, for example, the resource area. Uh, but secondly, there is a potential negative impact on how much we're willing to pay for equities in a greater inflationary environment. Now, we don't feel that we're going to be in an environment of runaway inflation, but it's something that we have to consider and keep in mind. Thank you, Steve.